here, Grot. Oh, did my X-ray specs arrive? Uh, no. No, they didn't. Oh, but this is for you. Oh, please be jury duty. Please be jury duty. Who's it from? Some company called Nielsen. Oh, God, it's our ratings. What are ratings? You don't know what ratings are? Don't tell me you have me paying attention to our ratings, you idiot. Uh, Grot, ratings are important. Uh, they, they tell us how many people are watching, and it affects stuff like advertising and whether or not we stay on the air. So, what was our audience share last week, huh? Um... Well, well, these numbers are, are, are like golf scores, right? L lower is better? Oh, no. Well, sunk. Give me that. Zero point zero one. Hey, somebody's watching. Well, this spells sit and doom. Oh, come on. There's got to be a way to boost these so-called ratings. Let's put our thinking caps on. In the meantime, welcome to the space bar, everybody, if there's anybody out there watching. Tonight's script episode is about a gigolo who's forced to kill the woman he is having an affair with in front of the woman who keeps him. Mm -hmm. Eileen Brennan, Kate Vernon, John Stamos, and Frank Stallone star in Till Death Do We Part. Well, Frank Stallone will keep glued to the set, eh? Well, any ideas, guys? I'm still not sure I understand anything about this ratings thing. Well, it's a pretty complicated process, Grodd. <laughs> Tell me about it. I was trying to do some research, and I, I learned that these ratings don't even cover everyone that's watching TV. They, they just take a small sample, and then they extrapolate from that. What's so hard to understand about that? Well, what if the people watching don't like sci-fi movies? Sh shouldn't we be rated by people who are interested in what we broadcast? <laughs> if any. Oh, don't worry about it, Grodd. Ratings aren't always right. I mean, there are some excellent shows out there that were canceled because of low ratings that had perfectly decent demographics. Uh, like Star Trek, the original series, for example. It was canceled. However, after a feverish letter-writing campaign, it, it came back for a couple of seasons. It also wouldn't hand if we were to show a decent movie for a change. You know what, Simon? I think you're right. I'm going to change the movie that we were going to show tonight, and I'm going to present something which is just a blatant grab for ratings. Let's see, um... No, no, uh, yes, yes, here it is, this is it. What is it? It's a British sci-fi sex romp called Zeta One, oh. full of lots of, you know, naked space chicks and stuff. Oh, gross. If this doesn't grab the ratings, nothing will. Um, what were you originally gonna show? Oh, uh, um, uh, uh, something called, um, uh, Star Wars? No! Oh! Stick around, everybody. Zeta One's coming up soon. What's wrong with you guys? Tonight's Space Bar is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey, guys, I'm home. Hi, Mr. G. Hey, Simon. Why so glum, chum? <laughs> I think I'm having a midlife crisis here. A midlife crisis? Yeah, I think I lost my cool. Hey, Simon. Hey, Mr. G. Hey, Shortcake. Why does Simon look so depressed? Uh, he thinks he's lost his cool. Well, can't he just snap his fingers and get it back? Hey, no fingers. <laughs> Was there anything we can do to help Simon? I think I need to do something to get my cool back, you know? Well, why don't you just jump your motorcycle over some garbage cans? Or a uh, water ski over a shark. <laughs> jump a shark? Okay. This is f***ing painful. I'm not playing along anymore. And shut that damn can laughter off, too. I'm not doing this. Simon, you said you'd play along. This show is jumping the shark as we speak. I'll sacrifice only so much dignity in the pursuit of ratings. 70s sitcoms were bad then, and they're worse now. Well, have you got any bright ideas? Yeah, how about broadcasting a live alien execution, huh? <sighs> Welcome back to the Space Bar, uh, everybody. Uh, tonight on Space Bar, we're making a blatant attempt to uh, boost our sagging ratings. Uh, so, in, uh, in that spirit, we present for your viewing pleasure the British sci-fi sex romp, Zeta One. It's filled with lots of half-naked space babes. I said turn that bloody stuff off. Enjoy Zeta One, everybody. 
You were such a spoil sport, Simon. Yes, yeah, sit on it, shortcake. <laughs> Shut it. Okay, Simon, I think I've got it. The clap? No. A way to boost our sagging ratings. Oh, here we go. This Zeta One movie has given me an idea. That's a first. Well, look, people really love half-naked alien space babes, right? You know, for once, you're right. I know, and we already have one space babe, so it stands to reason that our ratings will do better with three space babes. <laughs> oh, I like this. Grot. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to raise our ratings. Oh, you're raising something. <laughs> I look ridiculous. And who are these two bimbos? Point that someplace else, sister. Oh, come on, Waitron. I can't believe that you won't play along. What is the point of all of this? Oh, I thought that was pretty obvious. Look, I was programmed to provide information, not titillation. Have you seen the Space Cat website lately? Oh. Hey! So, uh, what are a couple of nice Amazon space babes like you doing in a place like this? Hey! Yes, guess it's just my magnetic personality. <laughs> really, ladies, you shouldn't. A little lower there. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, that's the stuff. Back to the old drawing board. Simon, what's with the uh, cute little furry lower life form? Didn't you say you wanted me to come up with ideas to boost our sagging ratings? Yeah. Well, nothing works better than cute animals, so here goes. Hey, everybody out there in TV land, watch Space Bar or the puppy gets it. Hey, you can't do that, Simon. That's terrible. You wanted my input. Well, yeah, having a cute furry little animal is one thing, but threatening to do them in is another. You never use my ideas. Oh, don't worry, little dude. I won't let the bad tin man get you. Ow! F***er bit me! <laughs> what the hell are you two up to this time? This is the last thing I could think of to boost our sagging ratings. Thank you, Thing. What? What is that? It's our latest ratings figures. And? You don't want to know. Hmm. You know, I can understand the black bars and the waiter on there, but uh, why aren't you, Clamface? You don't want to know. Be sure to tune in next week for a very special 1,000th episode of Space uh, Bar. Rod, we haven't done 1,000 episodes of Space Shh. <laughs> Stay along. Yeah, 1,000. <laughs> we'll have lots of great clips of all the fabulous times we've had in the past at the bar. That's next week on our very special 1,000th episode of Space Bar. But after this week, we ain't gonna see 1,001. <laughs>